the city of Hayward still struggling to recover from this weekend's cyber attack. Now, the good news, the city's website is back up again. But as Devin Feely found out, not everything is working perfectly just yet. If there is a silver lining to this cyber attack, it's the fact that it was discovered relatively early. That limited both the scope and the severity of the attack. That said, some folks who showed up early in the day in person to do business with the city still found it a bit challenging. Melina Leahy ultimately left Hayward City Hall without being able to renew her business license as the city struggles to recover from a recent cyber attack. I came here to renew my business license because I sell jewelry at the flea market. And I had went there, they told me you have to do it online because our system is down. A spokesperson for the city says they first realized that they were the target of cyber criminals early Sunday morning and immediately shut down the city's website to limit their exposure. The city's website came back online around noon, but there were still signs like this posted around City Hall, warning employees not to turn their computers back on until further notice, a lingering after effect of the attack. Melina says it was all just one big wasted trip. It's kind of annoying because I don't live around here. I live in Fremont. And she was not alone. Paul Cotteridge came in person to check on a parking ticket. The reason I came down was I couldn't deal with it online. I don't know if it was me being old school or this new snafu was going on. A spokesperson for the city described the attack as ongoing and did not want to say exactly what security countermeasures they'd taken. Cybersecurity experts, however, say Hayward and other cities should not have been caught off guard. They have this warning, this neon sign saying, you might be next, so you better be prepared. Professor Ahmad Benafa says for small cities, school and hospital systems, the question is not if, but when they'll be targeted. When you talk about cybersecurity, it's an investment. It is not an expense. Melina says she's just annoyed that she invested the time coming to City Hall only to leave empty handed. It's scary. I mean, you never really know what can happen nowadays. All you could do is hope that your personal information doesn't get leaked. A spokesperson for the city says it would still be a bit premature to declare this attack definitively over. They say that there are computers and systems and other servers that they have to go through to make sure that every trace of this attack has been identified and neutralized.